How to make ClickUp Calendar Sync better. Hello, my name is Anton and in today's video, I'm going to show a scenario where I'm using ClickUp's Calendar Sync. If you do know it's there, then great. If you did not, they do allow you to sync to your different calendars. I have it synced up with Google Calendar in this scenario. And one issue I have, or maybe it's more of a pet peeve that I have, is that when I complete my task, I want them to be recognized as completed in the calendar. That way, if I complete it earlier than the time that I allot it, then it will actually show complete. And maybe I can even delete it from the calendar. Because when you complete the task in ClickUp, it does not remove it from the calendar and vice versa. If I was to delete the calendar item, it would not delete the task. So even though it does show that they have two way syncing, yes, they can sync one way and give you a view and then they can sync the other way, but it's not bi-directional where they're tightly linked to where if you delete it in the calendar, it will delete it and click up or if you complete it, and click up, it will delete it in the calendar. So with that out of the way, let's get into how I have this set up. So right now we just have basic click up here where I can put some tasks. And here I have an, a calendar that's specific to click up tasks. Here we can show an example of what I'm trying to achieve where I have a calendar event here that's for an all day event. This could be for a specific time, time range, etc. But you can see here where I've labeled it click um, complete dash and then whatever the task name is. And I had to automate this. One thing to note is that this cannot be automated in ClickUp, at least not at the moment or with anything that I've seen. So if I come in here and I do any of the different actions here, there is no rename you can create new tasks and so on maybe change other aspects and we will use ClickUp automations in this process but i'll get to that later so what i want to do is i'm going to create a task two in here and the way i have the cloud sync set up is that if it's assigned to me and it has a due date and by ClickUp's functionality with syncing things if you put the due date out i think it's 90 days to, um, out into the future um, anything less than that it will sync anything over than, than that it will not and if it does not have a start date or due date it will also not sync the event so i give go ahead and give it an event um, or a due date here i've assigned it to myself and based on the way I've configured the calendar sync, this will sync into the Google Calendar. Now that sync process is not immediate, it's not real time. So once it's synced, I will show you how what it looks like in the calendar. Okay, so we do have that calendar event synced now. That sync fairly quick. It usually takes about a minute or two for it to sync up within the Google Calendar. And we see here that it is labeled task two. If we open it up, we can see that it shows where this task is in ClickUp and it gives you a link to ClickUp, which will take you directly to this task. Now, what I want to do is rename this task. Every time I go in here and I say complete, then I want that task to be labeled as completed. So the way I found in order to get, get this done is to use Make. Now, Make is an automation platform. It used to be um, Integral Make. And using this here, I can create a scenario. You do get, if you don't have an account, create yourself an account. There's a free plan. Uh, use the link in, link in the description. And you do get, uh, I think it's a thousand automations per month and I think that's adequate enough for a lot of people's use cases right now it's really worked for what I'm using it for here 
So I'm going to show you what this automation looks like. I've named it, rename, completed task in ClickUp, which is exactly what we're trying to do. First thing first, the first step that we're doing is we are connecting to the ClickUp or ClickUp environment uh, account. And I have it set for the spaces that I want it to pull information from. So this right now is a watch task. You can see this here. And I have it going in. I give it um, the, the criteria to watch for anything with my account. So in order to get this, you can go into ClickUp, into the People section, and then you can get your account name from there or account number just hit copy and i'm also looking for a tag calendar dash rename you can use whatever tag you want but this is will be the exact um, tag that will need to be on the task for this to run and then the uh, completed for the status we want the status to be complete so all assigned tasks to me that have the calendar rename and has a status of complete will trigger this particular automation. So the next step, once it's found the task that fit that criteria, we want to get a task in this option here. So when you add, you pick get a task and then we give it the task name then after it gets that specific task we want to edit the task and by editing the task i just add in the id i give the new name that i want to be done here so i prefix this with complete dash and then i select the task name from the side here and i also in here i change the status or I make sure that the status is set to complete this should always be complete because um, the criteria up front is only watching the ones that are complete. So it's not really changing anything here. Then if we go to the next piece of the automation here is, is to remove tag from a task. So this goes in and it takes that task ID and then you give it the task that you want to have removed, which is calendar dash rename. Now I remove the task and it, this is critical because if you are constantly watching completed tasks with a tag on it, it's going to see this over and over again. And this will keep running on the same individual task. So what you'll end up with is that prefix complete dash will just keep repeating itself over and over and over. Now, this is a way to say, if I remove this tag now in the beginning, it does not fit the criteria because the tag is removed. So we know it's already run its process or it just does not fit the criteria. So this process will not, this automation will not run on it. Okay. So that's what the automation is set to. And if we go back into ClickUp, we have this task here. We have it synced into the calendar. There's one more step that we want to do, and that is set up an automation here so that when I complete or anyone comes in here and hit complete on this task, it automatically adds the tag to it. That way you don't, you don't have to come in here, add the tag, then mark it complete. So this automation will, again, streamline this process and make it more efficient. So we go into automation, we add automation, and what we, any status we want to, when the status changes from any status to close, we also wanna set that criteria where the assignee is myself in this scenario. Okay, so it's set now. And on the then or the action side, we have the trigger and then there's the action. If we want to come in here and we want to change the tag. Now, 
it has gives you the option to either add or remove. What we will do is go in here and we will add the calendar rename tag and then we will hit create. And that is it for the automation. It's that simple. It's already set to be turned on and we will come out of here. We'll go ahead and change this ta task to be complete. And it just dis disappears from the view. Now, if you want to show these tasks, we can come in here and show it here. And we can see that task two now has that tag on it because I changed that the automation within ClickUp put it there when I changed the task to be complete. Now we can go into make the automation platform and we can manually run this or we can set it to run automate automatically. Now it is set to run automatically on the free plan. You can only go as low as 15 minutes, but we can come in here and we can manually run this so we can see what this looks like. Go ahead and hit run on here. Should go out to click up and discover that task. We can see we have everything green here and this should indicate easily that the task has been found and it has been modified within ClickUp. So if we go back to ClickUp, we can see here that task two has been renamed and the tag is missing. Now to finalize the, the, the last step, the piece that I want is to, to have it changed in the calendar is that the ClickUp sync will take care of that piece. So when I rename the task, ClickUp will sync the new name of that task to the calendar. And as we can see here, it now shows as complete. So this gives me a good visual representation when I'm looking at my calendar, which task items have been done or are waiting to be done. All right, that is it. If you found value from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next time, have a nice day.